Warning signs wow on Facebook Live. A man admits killing his former girlfriend in Baltimore and then targeting his ex-wife in Howard County. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to WJZ News at 6. And we also welcome those who are streaming this evening. The suspect detailed his chilling plot during a live stream just seconds before police say he killed his ex-wife and then himself. So for years, the ex-wife had filed protective orders, saying she was terrified that he would kill her. WJZ investigator Mike Kelvin is live in South Baltimore with new insight tonight. Mike? Vic Denise, that Facebook Live video is disturbing to watch. Now, we are at the first crime scene. Police say the suspect's children were with him at the second crime scene, but did not see their mother get murdered. It felt like a dream. Like, I never thought I would be that guy. By the time Rajay Black streamed on Facebook Live outside his ex wife Wendy Black's apartment in Columbia, police say he'd already killed his ex girlfriend Tara LeBang in South Baltimore. He said in the video LeBang was pregnant at the time he shot her. Black would be next. It's the holidays, man. I don't have no family, nothing. Anyway, I just did something crazy, man. He follows her inside. The video cuts off. Police say after he killed her, he killed himself. WJZ scoured court records and obtained protective orders Wendy Black had filed against him the most recent last year. She wrote, he threatened to kill me with a gun. He has pushed, shoved, threatened, and bit me in the past. I am afraid of him and his anger and do not want him to know where I live. He has access to weapons. In that protective order, she also claims he was suicidal. In another order, she claims he told her, I'm coming for you. She wrote, I am terrified because I do not know what he's capable of. I do not feel that I am safe. I feel that my life is in danger. The protective orders were denied. It's just extremely sad to hear about what happened. Then. Lou Pham lives just a few doors down from the first homicide. These kinds of horrific things being live streamed, and it's, it's just, it just adds another layer of horror to the way these things uh, have happened. Both victims and the suspect were nurses. Wendy Black worked at Howard County General, according to friends, and Tara LeBang worked at Ascension St. Agnes. A hospital spokesman wrote, We are shocked and saddened by this news, and our thoughts and prayers are with Tara's family. And St. Agnes says they are providing grief counseling to employees. Police have not said how the suspect obtained the weapon used in these killings. Reporting live in South Baltimore, Mike Halgren, WJZ.